It's Mr. Trucking Izzy. We're up here in the mountains, Poudre Canyon, playing with this. What is this saying? A Tahoe? <laughs> yeah, it's real similar Chevy to the Tahoe. Car. Yeah, the Tahoe with all this is a Z71 package, so it's got blacked out grill, it's black bow ties, black badging. It just likes that black look, which people like. You guys all ask for these things. <laughs> And hopefully we can get out of the wind eventually. We've got people fishing down here now, so it's quite the day. I got my stampede springs on, so my hat won't blow too far. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take this for a spin and we're only pulling 3,000 pounds, but let us show you the engine. So, is he this big monster 6.2? How much power do we have? We've got 420 horsepower. And 460 torque. Awesome, that ought to drag us all over the mountains. Wish we had a bigger trailer, but we will next time. This is too cool. So now join us for the review. Well, there's our Gen Y hitch that we use on every trailer. This one's the Rebel. It's up to 7,000 pounds. Adjustable, it's a lighter hitch. And it's awesome. We're pulling about 3,000 pounds today with it. With, of course, the new 2022 Tahoe. Loaded with an ATV. Big doors. Yeah, it's a real big truck. Yeah, big nice little step stool. Help you get in there. All right. You gotta start wearing your cowboy hat. You got so much room in these things. Yeah, tons of room. So we've got a brake controller here, which is always nice. But it's on the wrong side. It is on the wrong <laughs> side. That's I'm the one that complains about that anymore. And then this nifty little card holder. Wow, don't let me forget that card. I don't yeah. think Yeah. <laughs> For going through drive throughs and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of nifty. I used to always put them in the uh, the sun visor. The center console or the sun visor, yeah. And a 360 camera button. That's cool. I've never That's seen that there cool. before. Yeah, we'll demonstrate me neither. That. That's awesome. I'll have to show that. And then your different modes, your auto, your two wheel and four wheel up and down modes here. Yeah, we may have to start it. Oh, well, then this here, I kind of like the parking brake. That's that e-brake. Yeah, I like it with that. that easy That's button this, right there. That way you can find it because a lot of them, they push them all over the place. Mm -hmm. down. Then you can go through those modes because we'll be able to see them up in here. See there, it's in normal mode, two-wheel drive. Yep. So if you want to, yeah, do the twisty thing, and tow mode is to your left, and then rest of them are all those other modes for off-road. Oh, there you okay. go. Okay. Cool, there's tow there's haul. There's tow haul, off-road, sport mode, and then you're all normal two-wheel drive mode. Cool. There shows your MPG. There's a lot of place, a lot of, a lot of options on this. But now what I really hate is that bottom part of that knob for the uh, air ride. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to hit it. And that's, you know, it's just the bottom half of it. They need a whole knob it's for that. little button. Yeah, you just push on that. Now I'll see if I can see up here. Yeah, there's your heights and you just have to keep pushing on it. If you can get your finger on that little tiny bottom half of the button, GM. That's your... <laughs> It's You've got to turn it pretty quick, too, yeah, otherwise you lose the screen. That's true. That gives you all your height adjustments, and some of Entry. it's automatic. Why do we need interrupt? Go ahead. Entry, exit, ground clearance, and then normal ground clearance, increased ground clearance, and maximum ground clearance. That's uh, nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. you got to switch to four-wheel drive to raise it. Well, that's just too much. This has got all that safety stuff, so if you know you put open the door when you're driving, it'll lock up the park, and then you'll just fly through your windshield. And it's got a thing with <laughs> seat belts too, to where if you don't have one seat belt, if there's people in the back, at least one of them has to be hooked. One of them has to be hooked in the front, or it'll shut off or put it in park. It likes to throw it in park. I'm not sure why, but that's how it goes. Oh yeah, these running boards are all part of the Z71 package too. I'm gonna do that right quick, roll through and show all those those things. Okay. Got the luggage rack is black, that's Z71. Yep, the Tahoe blacked out. 
Z71 stickers, of course. Those are the Z71 wheels. And there is an optional different wheel. It's expensive and bimbo brakes on the front is an option. But blacked out grill, little 71s. And then, yeah, the, the black bow tie. And now a cool thing back here is that everybody loves Easter eggs. That seems to be the thing is having Easter eggs. And so you look at these LED lights, there's a Chevy emblem. I guess you can call it an Easter egg. There it is. And then you got the black Tahoe and the black bow tie. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. Yeah, that's cool. That's the front camera. I love cameras. front cameras. See my new tripod there. Then you got a 360 view on the side, which really helps in parking next to rocks See and dry throughs. Now there, there's the backups. That's the rear end, and it's got a button you push. I think it's this one here that gets it right above the hitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going right through here. all of them? Okay. Yeah. Right above the hitch. Well, there's even one that, gets, that zooms in more than that. Hit that button. Uh, the other, this button right there in the middle, the uh, that one that should put it right above okay. it. Yeah, that's the one I use the most of. Now, this one does that look like it's in an angle? That one doesn't look so bad there this morning. It was really weird, huh? It looks pretty straight. Well, it's just damn, yeah, then the bumper looks straight. What was I thinking this morning? It was. I don't know Maybe what it was you were doing. on a different camera. Yeah, it might have been, but I, I thought that was just kind of bizarre. Okay, have you showed all the cameras now? Because they got a pretty good uh, view yeah. of them. I like their uh, DPI, their density. Let's see this one. Yeah, that's the cartoon. Look at that. They drew a cartoon of my trailer. Yeah. yeah. See, that's pretty close. I wonder if you can zoom on this one. Oh, it goes to the yeah to the hitch would, with that button. It would be nice if it was a little bigger picture, but it's way up above. And they got the nice layout here, and uh, you know temperature controls all that, and of course the phone charger. They finally made them big enough. GM did really mm -hmm. well now. They fit everything. Yeah, let's, you know, what in the world is that little hole thing door, whatever yeah, that is? Secret little compartment. Is that where you put your big $100, $100 bill wad? I guess wow. so. It's probably okay. all that would fit in there. Now, do you remember the magical part about this center console? I remember it slides, but <laughs> I might have to find I, the I button give, I again. I'll give you a hint. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. It's oh, right there. Oh, it's way up here. Yeah. That makes me think it's a moonroof oh, yeah. button. But it's going. Yeah, we've done that on the GMC, the Yukon too, but I think it's just so awesome. Then the people in the back, those, those captain's chairs, yep, they can... They can use those. Yeah. And you got a little thing there to put your 45 or whatever. And you got a small, small compartment there. I've got my masks and, all, and there's the wireless headphones. Now these darn screens in the back you got to have it i guess on your phone and plug it in to watch the movies i gotta oh, okay. download some for my grandkids because we used to have the dvds yeah but not now now it's all your phone that's a nice interior i like the overhead this one does not yeah, have a moonroof nice. which is a little different that's what i thought too yeah I wish I had massaging like there's some seats. speakers right above your head. I haven't seen those before. Yeah, and I don't know if these or which brand of speakers they are. They all like to it switch them. It looks like them. they're Bose. They're Bose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty common for GM. Okay, well now we just got to look at the back two rows and the hatch. Okay, well, there's the hatch. That's the hatch. And you can close it with the little button here. We'll see if we can figure out how to get the top window to open. Must be the other side. Well, I wonder, you know, I, I thought they were both down there, but maybe it's up here. Oh. Do you think it is? There's a camera there. Here's a little button here. Oh, there you go. Because a lot of times you only want to open the hatch and throw stuff in there. There it goes, Throw yeah. the kids in there and then slap it <laughs> shut, yeah. And look at that, that windshield wiper no always hatch. cracks me up that they have it all concealed. It's pretty cool. On the inside, yeah. 
And then you open, you close that. I wonder that. if you can close it with the button. Probably not, my guess. No, that's just to open. That's nice. It's got the little, there we little go. spoiler back there. You can't see the windshield wiper. It nope. looks pretty slick. Okay, now show me all about how these seats work. Let's open the bottom again. Or is there any, this looks like a pretty small compartment. What do you think? Yeah, let's see. Oh, just got the wrenches yep, for changing the tire. Yep, just some wrenches. Just a tiny little compartment for tools. Yeah. Or whatever. And these seats, you got your left and right. Let's see. The left one, you kind of got to hold it down. Cool. Well, that gives you and a lot of right. cargo space, yeah. There go. I think that seat just has to go up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But then you got this button to put Holy the front cow. down as well. Did we smash anybody in that front seat? No. Nope. Ah, cool. <laughs> Hopefully. Then the other one does the same thing. That's cool. Yeah, then there's... Yeah, you also got in the back the little outlet there. Yeah, it looks like in the walls up here they have USB ports and... Yep, for chargers. Yeah. Wow. Nice. All right. I'll click that button one more time and you can fold oh, it up wow. even more. Cool. Then you got a way to get in that middle row because that, that's easier to get in these, I think, climbing through the middle. But if you can climb through the seat side, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, how about the other side? Does the right side do all those tricks? I think so. Oh, there you go. There wow. Get that out of the way. Now we can put this one down a oh, little yeah. more. Oh, look at that. It folds. Well, that's that better than up. that GMC. You only do one side. That is There's awesome. There's a ton of room in here with all the seats down. Yep, you go camping. You do anything you want. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, let's try to check out the middle row. I think you... These are supposed to the demand. up button. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Slide that's those so cool. right back up. These are made for an old man like me. Easy I don't have peasy, to do any manual, yeah. manual labor. Okay. All right, we'll close the back here. There's plenty of room with those seats up to climb into the back. Well, that's good. And you know, because this is four corner air, it's also four corner independent suspension. There used to be a solid axle in the back. Mm -hmm. So by going to independent, they were able to lower the floor and give you more leg room. More leg room, But yeah. you still don't have a lot of thigh support. But yeah, but you could to... even watch the TVs if you wanted yeah. more leg room. Yeah, that's cool. And that's a uh, bench in the back, so that means we have three, uh, seven seat belts. Yep. That's too cool. Awesome. Do you like it so far? What do you think? I like it. I like the way the seats all fold down. You can fit whatever you need to in here. Yeah, There's also your... little buttons on the sides for oh, the yeah. seats as well oh that's cool you got buttons all over yeah to put those up you should get your goats in here see if they like yeah it. <laughs> <laughs> you could put a horse in here so big cool yep these are big screens back here i think those mm, are foot long screens. at least i keep my grandkids happy i'm gonna have to download some uh, movies on my phone okay now we're gonna do the drive-by Well, is it your dress for summer? What is this? What, yep. no coats? You're just all ready to... <laughs> Finally, it's a warmer <laughs> weather. Yes. We've been it's wearing really coats nice. all over. This is the first video. We've not had to wear heavy coats. Yep. Cool. Finally warming up. The wind hasn't been so bad either. Yeah. We had a few guests, but not bad. Not like we're used to. Oh, this is Pooter Park. We're like a bunch of tourists. We wish, wish they had some of those cherry, those cherry places, you know, have the cherry juice. Yeah. I stopped buying those on the way to Estes, but man, I think they don't have any over here. Not over here. Yeah. You got Smokey the Bear and that's about it. Oh, they got cherry blossoms. I love cherry blossoms. Yeah, they have quite a few of those out here. Yeah, here's the teepee. Somewhere up here they have like a, a 
six by six army truck and there's a rock cabin that gets up here yeah there's the and steel buffalo. buffalo yeah and then there's that rock cabin and there's the six by six pretty cool place all right here's a model a pickup wow that's cool all right izzy do you like yeah. this tahoe I guess it's a SUV. It's a body on frame. Yep, I like it personally. I like the black features that they've been doing instead of the, the silver it usually is, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm a chrome fan, but most people do like the blacked out chrome, or the yeah. monochromatic bumpers and all that. But yeah, yeah this is a good looking rig. It's really good looking and it's very comfortable. I like that it can pull a lot, so I would definitely buy it to pull horse trailers and such. Cool. And um, the easy trailer hookup cameras, I really like those. Um, the color is very nice. Yeah, it's got a good look. Yeah. Did you like the wheels? The wheels, yes. I almost forgot. Those are my favorite part, too. Yeah. Great I, big wheels. Yeah, the 20 inch, I like them too. These, uh, you know, this of course doesn't have camper or towing mirrors, but most of these SUVs don't, so I'm not even sure they're an option. But in the small trailer, like though we've got, you can see pretty well back there. Yeah, we can see perfectly good. Do you guys go off roading much? Because this has all the bash plates and skid plates and some live yeah, off road. Yeah, if I had something like this, I would. <laughs> well, next time, let's bring your book so we can go find us a place to go, find us go some, trail ride. Yeah, go off roading. Yeah. See how it does. That'd be awesome. Good. We're getting a Raptor here in about a month, so that one we definitely have to find us a good trail. Yeah, overall I really like it. It reminds me of like a Forerunner. Yeah, it's just a big Forerunner. Big, <laughs> even a little bigger, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. family vehicle. Yes, indeed. It's, it's sharp looking, and you know, people make that comment. It's a lot of people where I've stopped told me how much they like the look of it, so mm -hmm. I think you're you're with the majority. Now let's see how fast you can go down the mountain. I want to see the speed. I want to see some some racing abilities here. <laughs> with all these twists and turns. Yeah, that makes it a little harder. That makes it interesting. See how fast you can take on curves. See if it does ride on rails. Yeah, right. And you, you know, you look at the rocks. You can't go too far. If you go off road, you'll stop real quick because there'll be a rock right there. <laughs> Okay, wait till yeah. you get out of straightaway, and then I want to I hear this thing purr. I love this 6.2. But straightaways are quite a ways away. Yep. <laughs> well, folks, we got this 3,000-pound trailer. It'll tow 8,100. And I was going to put the Jeep on my dump trailer, and that's right where it'd be is 8,000, because my flatbed's getting some brake work on it. But I just didn't think... Cause that's one thing I worry about too. I always try to get the higher weights so we get close to the maximum, but I also want people to understand what kind of trailer they can pull with these. Now, this is not a, you know, a kind of a truck that has big tow mirrors. Mm -hmm. So if I put an eight foot wide trailer on the back, I mean, of course there's a uh, RVs that way and that would have been similar to that, but I try to match the trailers up to what you're gonna use the vehicle for. And most people aren't gonna pull the dump trailer with, with the Tahoe, but anyway, I guess I could have, but was right on the edge of the maximum towing capacity so anyway so this is not going to be any kind of an, uh, a, an effort for this truck pulling 3,000 pounds I think I can tow 3,000 pounds you can get me downhill I can do it but this is so cool this is the Z71 and I'm going to show you all the badging it's got black bow ties it's got black all over the place railing it's got the name in black it's really cool i thought they'd call this a blackout edition but it's all part of that z71 off-road package and finally this is the first year that you can get the 6.2 with the zr71 it was given a 7.3 and a, they were the 5.3 which is kind of confusing to me because they also will tow the 5.3 to tow bigger traders than this which makes no sense at all this yeah. is a fast fast engine it's one of my favorite engines then you know at some point i'd be so happy if all these guys on their best engine would stop making us use premium fuel you got such high priced gas and then you're going to make us jump another 50 cents a gallon mm -hmm. and that's like this one this is supposed to use premium the ford ecoboost is supposed to use premium 
but it says in the manual on the EcoBoost on the Ford that you have to use premium when you're towing a trailer or if it's hot weather. I didn't really see that on this. They just want you to use premium all the time. And then Nissan's, their bigger engine in the Titan, which we'll have next week, that is all set to run on premium. And gosh, I think the truck should run on whatever the hell I feel like putting in it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it is. But they didn't ask me. I just, I, I hate buying premium. I mean, it's might as well buy a diesel and spend the extra money and get a diesel. But oh well, the extra money on fuel and get a diesel. That's all mm -hmm. that, all those extras that make a diesel. But, because um, this has got plenty of power, this is 6.2. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, you don't feel the trailer at all either. Yeah, yeah, if you do it in idle and just doesn't even exist, which actually should help on the RPMs, which should in turn help a little on fuel mileage. So it seems like anytime you put any trailer on a, on a truck, it, on anything but a diesel, all the gas engine it seems to pull them back to that 11, 9 to 11 miles to the gallon. So this one we're showing 12.6, but you know, we just started getting in the mountains, so you know, it should be doing better than that with this 3,000 pound trailer. And I didn't race it up here, but you know, you, you, you any place you see a straightaway, you want a floor, you go ahead and do it. Okay. I want to hear this motor roam. Yeah. yeah. Roar and roar and roar. It's a, it's a cool sound to it. And this has got four exhaust tips on it. So it should be wow. musical back there. Mm-hmm. And this has got the max training package, which makes me happy. It gives you a, a better cooling radiator. It's enhanced, whatever that means. Smart trader integration. In the indicator, I guess that tells you a few things about the trailer, and this does do the checkpoint and all that. So you can check your lights, you can do all that stuff from in here, and we'll go through some of that. But this also has the brake controller. It's on the other side, but I love vehicles that have brake controllers. This also has the off-road performance package for 2615, 2615 which gives you the this bigger engine, the dual exhaust tips. And then, uh, then the next package, wow, that's that's what that, that engine jumps it up. 2,600 pounds, wow, $2,600 just for an engine upgrade. Well, I guess that's diesel, cheaper than a diesel, but not with GM. GM, the diesel three liter, which you can't get in a Z71, but the other ones you can, and it is the same price as a 6.2, oh, which to okay. me makes the diesel a, a bargain. Let's see. This, of course, this has all the, the media systems, the rear seat medium. You got the, uh, you know, all the plug-ins. You got the little screen behind us on these seats. It's a 12.6 seat-mounted uh, monitor. This has got the bucket seats in the middle row. The captain's chairs. I really appreciate those. It's really weird how they give you all these discounts on here. That this sliding console is 350 bucks. But uh, it's got a drawer and all that. Then you get, if you don't get the automatic stop start, you get a $50 credit. Well, most people don't want that. I mean, I like the fuel mileage it gains mm -hmm. on my truck. And then you also get another $50 credit if you don't lock the steering wheel column. Well, is that so people can steal it? Because if you want the steering wheel to lock, so somebody can't just jump in and steer it, you know, being towed or whatever. That's right. So I don't know why you do that. Okay, you're good at guessing this. What do you think the MSRP price of this puppy is? I'm gonna say around eighty thousand. Is that your final That's final my offer? Final eighty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you're only eight thousand off. No, you're seven thousand three hundred off. It's oh, seventy-two thousand. No, that's not bad. Seventy-two thousand seven ten. So yeah, it's a bargain. In the high country, that might get over eighty thousand. That's the top of the line. This I think is three down. The Z, the Z seventy-one. But wow, just the Z off off road package is almost six thousand. It's five thousand nine eighty five, mm -hmm. and it gives you a luxury package. Yeah, HD surround vision. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see the sixty forty split, bench power release, heated second row, tilt telescope, steering wheel, memory settings, heated steering wheel, heated power outside mirrors. But, uh, yeah, and the off-road capability package, which it doesn't put a price on, should be part of the Z71, but apparently it's an upgrade. It has the electronic limited slip differential, the magnetic 
ride control, you know, that's when they put the metal flakes in a shock mm -hmm. and then they electrify them and it makes it either thicker or thinner. Yeah. And then it's got the air ride adaptive suspension. Now that I pay for, but they don't list it separate. So it's got four corner air, which means, you know, you remember how weird that knob is? Uh -huh. It's really hard to adjust. But I was using that to hook up to my trailer and then you'll automatically go down when you're getting out. It doesn't seem to do that all the time. But that makes it nice so you don't have to jump out. Jump in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got like four different on ride height setting, but I, I love I love air ride. And you you know, this is a good road, but it, there's nothing wrong with the ride of this. No, not at all. Yeah. Tri zone automatic have vac. Which is cool. So the third rail gets to actually play with their own temperature control. And I like the way these wheels look. We'll talk about it more when we're outside, but they're 20 inch wheels. And this also has the two speed transfer case, which I think you'd have to have with the Z. But if you have an off road package Z71, you want the two speed high and the low. Some of these GMs, they don't. It's automatic and you don't get to go into low range. Okay. All right, kayakers. Got some kayakers already. You probably can swim. Well, you lived, you grew up by the lakes. You yeah. probably kayak like a crazy person, huh? Mm-hmm. And paddleboarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My son paddleboards. That looks like fun. Yeah. Yeah, I got jet skis and kind of like a pontoon-looking thing, but I can't swim, so I guess I got to fix them up first. I was hoping the kids would get them all running for me, but I'm not getting a whole lot of cooperation. I should have bought the boat for somebody else. <laughs> I'll take the boat. <laughs> there you go. It is rated at 19 on the highway, and I think it's 14, 16 combined. The 5.3 is rated 20 on the highway, so that's just one. But for the way this thing sounds and the power, the payload on this is 1,524. You know, so that's also got to include your tongue weight from your trailer. Okay. So if you're at 8,100. Uh, pounds of trailer weight that means you're 810 ton weights and this is a 323 which seems to be you know 345 is GM's like towing weight ratio you know okay. we used to think of 373s and all that even on their trucks that's what they were for decades is 373 now they're all uh, the 345 or 44 whatever it is I'm gonna miss our stop. Are we doing this one? Well, we could. <laughs> you probably pull in there and back in there since you're getting me such a good backer upper. Or are you gonna go that way? Oh, nervous. tricky. So you go back in there. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to flatten this guy's tires. He's in our spot. Yeah. 